F-35 crash explained, Alaska's $200 million disaster, in one minute. Don't think high-tech jets still fail in 2025? Think again. The F-35 crash at Eielson Air Force Base proves even the best can break. On January 28, 2025, an F-35A, worth roughly $200 million, took off from Eielson. Soon after, disaster struck. The landing gear jammed, the nose wheel locked at a left angle. The pilot circled for nearly an hour on a 50-minute live call with five Lockheed Martin engineers. They tried everything the team could suggest. Gear cycling, repeatedly. Two touch-and-go landings to try to straighten the nose gear. Those moves made things worse. The gear froze and sensors began to misread. Sensors started acting as if the jet already had weight on wheels. At that point, the aircraft became uncontrollable. It spun, hit the runway and erupted in flames. The pilot ejected and survived, parachuting onto the runway. Investigators found water contamination in the hydraulic lines. At about minus one degree Fahrenheit, the water froze. Hydraulic icing disabled the system. The report blamed crew decisions and poor hazardous material oversight. Maintenance lapses let water into the system. Criticism also hit Lockheed Martin. Production shortcuts and design complexity were highlighted. Bottom line, a trillion-dollar program can still fail. High price, real vulnerability in Arctic conditions.